All right, so this is going to be a Costco item review. No, it's not on sale, but this is the Organic Everyday Matcha. All right, 100% Japanese green tea powder. Anyways, the price of this was $20.49. I know it sounds like a lot, um, but this actually makes a lot of servings. Um, each serving is about one, half a teaspoon, which is about a cup because you add it to a cup of milk or whatever. And yeah, if you go by that serving size, you get 225 servings. So even if you're drinking like larger servings, it's more than 50 servings or something. Um, so yeah, it's definitely much better than if you go out and go buy matcha drinks. All right, here you can see Sencha nat no, no, Natural, sorry, uh, USDA Organic. You can see tea and lattes, smoothies and shakes, baked goods, recipes, and more. 225 servings. All right, net weight 12 ounces, 340 grams. Let's take a look at the back here. I'm just going to make the one with ice and milk. But here you can see, since 2001, we have been sourcing our matcha from organic family tea farms in Kagoshima, Japan. Sencha Natural's mi uh, mission is to provide superior matcha fit for an emperor without the premium price. How do you matcha? Scan for matcha recipes and more. So if you want to know recipes and things, you could always just scan this. And then you don't even need to get the bag. <laughs> um, but you can see what you can make before buying it. Alright, what is everyday matcha? First and second harvest. Everyday matcha is a unique blend of ceremonial first harvest and premium second harvest matcha powder. Alright, versatile usage, tea, lattes, smoothies, baking, and cooking. Taste profile, our matcha provides a balance of mild sweetness, subtle bitterness, and delicate umami notes. Did you know umami is one of the basic, the five basic tastes? In Japan, it direct, directly translates to a pleasant, slavery taste. Okay? It's what's on the inside that counts. So here you can see the ingredients. So, uh, organic matcha green tea powder contains approximately 30 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Black coffee averages 100, so it has less caffeine than black coffee. Uh, than black coffee, so yeah, if you're drinking it for that reason, then you might have to drink more. <laughs> Anyways, nutrition facts: 225 servings per container. Serving size is half a teaspoon. Right, five calories per serving. Of course, if you add it to milk and stuff, then you're increasing the calories by a lot. All right, there's not really much in here. There's a little bit of fiber and some. I guess not much potassium either. They don't even show up as percentages. So I guess your body doesn't really digest this. <laughs> Alright, and then here you can see it's easy as 1, 2 tea. Matcha tea, add half a teaspoon uh, to 1 cup of warm water and mix thoroughly. And if you want a latte, you can add half a teaspoon to 1 cup of milk or milk alternative. And then you can add sweetener if you want it sweet, which I most likely will do. And then they tell you you can use an electric handheld milk frother to quickly dissolve it. Okay, maybe I'll try that using the machine I have. Alright, here we go. Organic matcha green tea powder. Contains approximately 30 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, I already read that. Keep tightly sealed and refrigerated for maximum freshness. Interesting, so you want to keep this refrigerated. And then uh, certified B Corps using business as a force for good. That's why we keep our matcha standards high and our commitment to positive social and environmental impact even higher. For more information, visit bcorporation.net. And here you can see the company. All right. Anyways, I'm going to go, I'm going to use my, um, I have a, what do you call, one of those machines that make like those coffee pod things, um, but it has a milk frother thing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half a teaspoon of this with a cup of milk in there and see how it works out. All right, I'll do that. Whoops, I forgot to open this up. So this has these little tabs or these little tear notches there. So you can use that to tear this open. All right, and then we just open this up. Oh, and if I didn't mention, expiration date here, Best Buy, March 6, 2024. Again, you do want to keep it refrigerated. Okay, it is Ziploc closed. So you do want to grab the Ziploc and open it up, and this is what it looks like. Let me actually turn the flash on. There you go. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. All right, that's what it looks like. And yeah, it smells like matcha tea. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I put it in the Keurig milk frother machine. 
All right, and I put it on cold latte setting. So let's go ahead and pour this out and see how it turned out. I also put a tablespoon of sugar. It's probably a lot of sugar for you guys, but uh, yeah, a tablespoon of sugar, okay? And you can see how frothy and creamy it turned out, okay? You can see in here. Hopefully this thing doesn't get messed up by putting sugar because it's meant for just milk. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this a taste. I poured it over a bunch of ice, you can see. And like half of it is foam. <laughs> Okay, let's give this a taste. Mmm. It's good. Maybe a little too much foam, <laughs> but it's good. Also, if you like stronger lattes, or not stronger lattes, stronger tea flavor, you could put more... Oh more powder in it of course so yeah this turned out nice it's very good it's nice and light i don't like very strong tea flavor so this is perfect for me um and i can adjust it however i want so yeah um there you can see the color um but that's pretty much it if you like matcha i prefer cold drinks i don't like uh, warm as much but if you like this uh flavor then yeah You'll really like it. It tastes like matcha wherever you go to get matcha. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.